they really can't take it. If an ambulance drives by, they start spinning. If they are straining on the toilet, they start spinning and can pass out. So that's called superior semicircular canal dehiscence. And it was actually discovered by our dean, dean of the School of Medicine, Lloyd Minor, at, when um, he was at Hopkins uh, University. Because it was su he was such an astute physician where he listened to a patient. Because before him, when patients like that would come to our office, I mean, what would be your knee-jerk reflex? But what Lloyd heard and paid attention to is that the patient said, when I hear a loud sound, I feel that my eyes are moving and my vision becomes blurry. And so Lloyd thought, really? So let me put loud sound in your ear, which he did, and he noticed that the patient's eyes started moving in the vertical direction. So there is this vestibular ocular reflex, and he figured, well, then the superior semicircular canal must be involved, and that led to imaging that had to be really developed so that it's fine cuts through the appropriate plane, and then you could really see the missing bone, and then he developed surgery to fix the problem, and now we can help people like that who actually do hear their bodily sounds that are too disturbing to them. They just can't function in the normal world because if someone yells next to them or an ambulance drives by, they just start spinning.